Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at Tilt Rocker, our new line of tilt shift lens adapters for mirrorless and DSLR cameras. Uh, this is our Canon FD to Sony E-mount Tilt Rocker adapter, which lets me take a vintage Canon FD lens uh, and mount it on the adapter. And then mount it on this Sony A7 body. So now we have this beautiful vintage lens mounted on this mirrorless camera and it works just like a normal lens adapter. So you can just shoot in manual mode uh, and just have a normal image. And if you press the silver button here, you can actually shift the lens left and right. Or you can take the adapter and by loosening this gold screw here, you can actually tilt the adapter down. And then uh, by pushing this gold button on this side, you can actually rotate it wherever you want. So now you have the ability to add a tilt effect into your images. And this is a pretty big deal because tilt shift lenses aren't cheap. But with the Tilt Rocker adapter line, you can turn any adapted lens into a tilt shift lens. Earlier this year, I took this setup, a Sony A7 body, a vintage Canon FD 50 millimeter lens and the Tilt Rocker adapter to Washington DC. I went to the Natural History Museum, uh, I went to some of the big monuments, uh, even the White House, and I captured some creative tilt effect photos. When you tilt your lens down uh, and then rotate it around, maybe rotate it up, on the Tilt Rocker adapter, you're actually messing with the focal plane of the lens. So rather than getting everything in focus, you're actually tilting your focal plane so there's only a ribbon of focus. And if you position the tilt up or down, you'll have the out of focus region on the top and bottom of the image. But if you rotate it so the tilt is to the side, you'll have the out of focus regions on the left and right of the image. So it really just depends on what kind of look you're going for. Are you trying to focus on a column in the middle of the frame, or are you trying to focus on kind of a horizontal uh, aspect of the image? One of the things a tilt effect is used for is to create an illusion of your space being very, very small. Uh, you know, when you're using a shallow depth of field lens on, let's say, a miniature town, only a very little bit of that miniature town is going to be in focus. So when you use this effect on, say, the Lincoln Memorial, it's going to give the image kind of an uncanny miniature look. And with these photos of the Lincoln Memorial, you can see how I was able to select what part of the scene was in focus. Uh, depending on how drastically I tilted and then where I adjusted the focus of my lens, I was able to focus on the foreground, the midground, and the background, shifting that slice of focal plane around and creating drastically different looks in the same scene. I did a similar approach in this Washington D subway station. Uh, first of all, I focused on the crowd and kind of let the ceiling go out of focus. Then I focused on the ceiling and let the crowd go out of focus. But in this third shot, I rotated the tilt rocker on an angle and I was able to put the focal plane in a corner of the image, letting everything else fall off. So I was able to focus on this one guy waiting for his train and throw everything out of focus, creating a kind of abstract, dreamy, focused image. I took the tilt rocker to the Smithsonian Natural History Museum, and here are some spooky bone photos I captured. Uh, this is a bat. And yeah, it looks pretty creepy by itself, but you add a tilt effect and then you make it black and white. Now it's a lot more spookier. I also had fun shooting this T-Rex skull. It was already lit red by the museum, but then by using the tilt effect, I was able to selectively focus just on the front of the skull, on the teeth, and kind of let the rest of the skeleton and the background fade into black. And here's a swordfish skeleton. Uh, here's regular focus, uh, then here's horizontal focus, and here's vertical focus. And here are a couple more scenes in DC that I photographed without tilting and then with tilting. I had a ton of fun shooting selective focus images with the Tilt Rocker in Washington, DC. But you know, a lot of people who use tilt shift lenses and tilt shift adapters are not using them to do selective focus miniature effects. A lot of them are using the tilt shift effect in a much more subtle way to correct perspective distortion in an image. And in an upcoming video, we're gonna look at just that. How to use the Tilt Rocker adapter to correct perspective distortion in architecture photography. So stay tuned for that. If you'd like to learn more about Tilt Rocker adapters and see all of the Tilt Rockers that we have to offer for various cameras and lenses, click the links in the description below. And click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. 
I'm Sean with photodeox.com and thanks for watching. Thank you.